It's outside uh, Northcliffe House, which houses the Independent, as well as Daily Mail and Metro. Um, now since 2003, we've uh, actually contacted the Independent um, to ask them about why are their articles constantly Hindu-phobic, anti-Hindu, never look at the broader pitch, never get balanced when it comes to Hindu issues. And the fact is, never had a response. Um, we had a standard response, automated. But then it gets caught up in a Kafkaesque bureaucratic nightmare where they do not actually give an answer and they keep dragging it out. And the question we've got to ask ourselves is, if any other minority community, especially community of colour, was treated like this, would it be acceptable? Not since the time of the New Cross fire has there been such venom by media against a minority community. And it's constant. The latest spat they claimed there was an attack in India by what they call Hindu fundamentalists against a Muslim vendor. Now, any, any attack is, it obviously should be condemned, but looking at close at the, the actual story, it's from a very sort of unsubstantiated source. And it turns out this was more of a case of consumer action against someone scamming them rather than the, an attack. The Independent have also claimed Jai Shri Ram as a Hindu nationalist slogan. It is, and it's a religious slogan used for thousands of years. And so now I'm going to do, because of the lack of any response, I'm going to go in and see if they can get more answers. OK, so back in a minute. How are you doing? Hi, Sorry, sir. Um, is there a way of contacting the independent? Um, because try to email them and I've really got a response back. Yeah, we yeah? can give you a contact number. That's the best we can do. A lovely church. Um, it's part of this country's heritage. However, in other places, the word church wasn't really something you look up to. Um, we've had the recent case in Kansas with the First Nations, indigenous people, loads of graves uncovered because they were forced into schools where they were forced to, run by churches in fact, where they were forced to disown their own language, their religion, their beliefs, their culture, everything. So it's horrendous abuse. When they left, they couldn't function properly in society, alcoholism, um, suicide rates massively high. So normally the independent would expose this sort of behaviour. When it comes to India, they actually back it. This is one of the few times when a left-leaning media outlet actually targets people of colour and demeans them. When it comes to attacks on Hindus by jihadis, they just see a bunch of brown people who are militants and always take their side. Um, don't even look at the merits of the case, don't look at the, the reality of the situation. And that's why the reporting is constantly anti-Hindu, and that Hindu phobia is embedded. That colonial attitude towards pagan, heathen, dark-skinned savages, it remains. Except now, it comes under the guise of progress. The independent regards itself as progressive. With the Hindus, that doesn't mean anything. It can be right-wing or left-wing. The same colonial attitudes remain. They just may manifest in different guises. But there's nothing in the independent which is independent regards to Hindus. Okay, cut again. Now, just as with uh, Ronald McDonald having a friendly face at McDonald's, doesn't hide the fact that they kill all these cows in order to saturate their business. Okay. Same with these oh, independent, um, left-leaning media outlets. The very fact that they might claim to be anti-racist makes no difference at all. You can look at their own articles and opinions and it's a constant anti-Hindu theme. Um, it tries to make out it's been balanced, but you look at it, it isn't. The sources regarding the sort of Hindu fundamental, the fanatics they call it, are not even properly verified. And they admit it themselves. As I mentioned, when you try and complain and speak about it, again, no dialogue. They elongate the issue, they strang the issue out, drag it out. That's why I went down there earlier on to see if I'd get more contact with them. I just hate to be negative. I don't mean to, you know, not try to be positive on these things, but judging by previous experiences, I don't expect much out of it at all. However, we'll continue trying. At the end of the day, this is free country. We will look at sources. We will look at how they're biased and show it. The colonialist attitudes of the Hindus as heathen, idol-worshipping savages is just reenacted.
now they're fanatics, now they're fascists, using terms of Western civilizational failure where it doesn't even apply. And that's the problem with the Independent and similar outlets. That's why from outside the Guardian, because again, they strung the issue out. Now the Independent has done the same thing. You notice a consistency with these people all the time. They just hope you give up, but we're not going to give up.